You always see me starting the session by putting the puppy down on the floor. The reason for that is that as soon as you hit the floor, we're going to be starting doing something. Especially on those little guys. I don't want them to run around and then all of a sudden start clicking. This is the third session of clicker conditioning for Ender. And I'm still clicking for any change of behavior. Here I'm waiting for her to do something else but sitting. Inactivity is not going to trigger the click. As soon as you start moving. And here is something I shouldn't be doing. I shouldn't be feeding her into the static position. I always should feed her out of it. <clears throat> because if I click for a sit and feed into a sit, the sit is so rewarding that it's more likely to be repeated. And I want the dog to think, what can I do? Different than what I just did to trigger the next click. Once we have that, we can then start clicking activity in a certain behavior or into a certain direction <clears throat> that we make up as the target behavior. Here I'm feeding her out of the sit after the click for sitting and that's how it should be done. There it is again. Always click for movement. Always click for change of behavior. You will see that that fish in the tank is swimming. Only if he's swimming, you can make him go through a hula hoop. A dog that is not moving and is not active cannot be guided into doing certain behaviors. I'm waiting. There it is. All right. Activity is key. That triggers the click. I'll see you for the next session.